Hello and welcome to Air Assisted Laser Cutting Explained. If you laser cut for a living, you are likely familiar with the use of assisted gases. Nitrogen and oxygen are the most popular, but you might not know that compressed air is a cost-effective alternative. In this video, we take a look at how air-assisted laser cutting works, the advantages of it as an alternative, and when air assist should be used. The common types of cutters use a laser beam for cutting the metal, but also inject an assist gas to remove molten material during cutting. Introducing a stream of compressed gas can increase heat transfer, which may improve the cutting speed and quality. Oxygen and nitrogen have traditionally been the preferred assist gases, but given the high price tag, using compressed air as the assist gas is gaining in popularity as lasers have become more powerful. Pressures range from typical plant air pressures of 100 psi to 500 psi, depending on the type and thickness of the metal being cut and the power of the laser. Using compressed air can create significant cost savings and reduce or eliminate dependency on other suppliers for gas cylinders or nitrogen generating equipment. The intense heat of fiber lasers combined with injected air creates cuts without producing an oxide formation on the cut surface. This means secondary cleanup operations are reduced. Your choice for assist gas will depend on the metal, the power of the laser, and the tolerance for surface oxidation. Air assist is not going to be the best gas choice for all cutting applications, but if you are looking for a cost-effective alternative with less equipment and easier setup, air assisted cutting is something to consider. Find out if air assisted laser cutting is right for you by visiting us.kaser.com forward slash laser cutting.